of the four chiral centers in amoxicillin, which belongs to the family of semi-synthetic penicillins. So first, what is a chiral center? A chiral center is an atom with four different groups, and most of the time it's going to be a carbon. So it's basically a carbon that has four different groups. So what we're going to do first in this molecule, we're going to identify all of our carbons, and we're going to show all of the hydrogens that they're missing. A carbon wants to have four bonds, so if we see that the carbon has less than four bonds, that means that hydrogens were not shown. So we have a carbon here, for example, it has one, two, three, four. This one is fine. This carbon has one, two, three, so it means there is another bond here, which is a hydrogen. Same thing here, here, and here. Here, everything is shown. This carbon has a hydrogen hydrogen and there is a hydrogen here and I think we're done because for these the hydrogens were shown next we're going to look for carbons that have four different groups the carbons cannot be on a double bond because if we're on a double bond we will be attached to three things not four things so we can ignore all of these carbons and we can start with this carbon this carbon has a hydrogen and NH2 is connected to this ring on the left and it's connected to C double bond O on the right, which is different. Therefore, this carbon is a chiral center. This carbon, because it has a double bond, it's only connected to three things, so it's not a chiral center. Now let's look at this carbon. It has a hydrogen, a nitrogen, then it has a carbon, and a carbon. This carbon is connected to sulfur and nitrogen, but this carbon is connected to double bond O. So going this way and this way is different because this carbon is connected to sulfur and nitrogen, but this carbon is connected to the double bond O. Therefore, this carbon is a chiral center. Let's say again why it is a chiral center because it's a little trickier when they're in the ring. So this carbon is connected to hydrogen, nitrogen, those two are different, carbon, carbon, hydrogen and nitrogen are different. This carbon is connected to sulfur and nitrogen. This carbon is connected to double bond O and nitrogen. So going this way and this way is different. Therefore, this carbon is a chiral center. Let's continue. Actually, I don't know why I erased. Wait one second, let me put my hydrogens back. Let's continue and take a look at this carbon. This carbon has a hydrogen, a sulfur, a nitrogen, and a carbon. So right away, these are all different, so this must be a chiral center as well. This carbon contains two of the same groups, two methyl groups, so it cannot be a chiral center. Again, we want a chiral center to be a carbon with four different groups. This one has two same groups, so they're not different, cannot be a chiral center. This carbon has a hydrogen, nitrogen, carbon, and carbon. Are these two carbons different? Yes, this carbon is connected to two methyl groups, and this carbon is connected to double bond OOH. So this is a chiral center as well. Let's look again. Why is this a chiral center? This carbon, this is the carbon and it's connected to hydrogen, nitrogen. That's different. Carbon here and carbon here. This carbon has two methyl groups and a sulfur and this carbon has double bond OOH. So this carbon and this one are different. This group going up and down are different. Therefore, this carbon has four different groups, and it is a chiral center. This is Maya Lochi from Transformation Tutoring. Please let me know if you have any questions, and I hope that you enjoyed this lesson.